Listen, we can all agree robots are cool. Samurai cool. So what could be cooler than a robot samurai? Well, Zero, the secondary protagonist of the Mega Man X saga, is just that. Believe it or not, the blonde-haired swordsman was actually created by classic Mega Man villain Dr. Wily, or Dr. Wily, as his greatest masterpiece, a living weapon to surpass all prior robot masters. However, a bug in his programming caused Zero to be too violent and unruly for even Dr. Wily to control, forcing him to seal away the mechanical menace in a capsule to contain his destructive power. Nearly a century later, Zero was unearthed by a group of reploids, intelligent and self-aware androids who lived alongside humans, and awakened, which, as you might guess, resulted in their immediate termination. Eventually, Zero was sought out by a group of hunters responsible for tracking down rogue reploids and engaged in a duel with their leader, Sigma. The heroic hunter emerged victorious, but not before Zero inadvertently infected him with the Maverick virus, Dr. Wily's other greatest masterpiece, a computer virus capable of corrupting even the friendliest of reploids into a ruthless killing machine. Being purged of the virus caused Zero to abandon his malevolent ways, but at the expense of turning Sigma into an even more dangerous threat than Goldilocks ever was. The Mega Man X series focused on Zero and his true blue companion X teaming up to stop Sigma from unleashing hordes of mavericks on the unsuspecting masses of the world. Over the course of these so-called maverick wars, Zero died and came back to life no fewer than three times. Though his resolve was tested again and again, our Crimson Champion was unrelenting in his fight for everlasting peace. Zero would be promoted to protagonist of his own spin-off series, aptly titled Mega Man Zero. The four Zero games, set even further into the future, take place in a world ravaged by a war that wiped out 90% of Reploids and more than half of the human population as well. Zero this time must face off against Dr. Wild, another villainous scientist who turned a would-be cure for the Maverick virus into a weapon of mass destruction capable of brainwashing machines to carry out his bidding. In a surprising twist, while eventually reveals that the playable Zero is merely a copy of the original Zero's body, which has been upgraded into a colossal warrior known only as Omega. Zero manages to defeat Omega, and subsequently the genocidal Wile as well, though seemingly sacrificing himself in order to save the Earth. Fortunately, this wasn't the end of the Valiant Hero. Though his body was destroyed, his consciousness lived as biometal a living artifact capable of granting a compatible human or reploid the abilities of a legendary warrior. He used this new power to aid the protagonist of the Mega Man ZX sequel series, even reuniting with the biometal form of his old buddy X along the way. Despite centuries of conflict and multiple deaths, nothing can stop Zero from protecting the world he holds so dear.